guys, Ellie from Excellence Property Management here. So today I'm going to answer one of the ultimate questions I get asked all the time, which is, should we accept pets on our property? Uh, pets, should I or shouldn't I? So uh, basically the reality is for you as an owner, yes, pets do pose a risk of causing damage to your property. However, to be completely honest with you, I haven't actually had bad experiences with bad animals. I've had bad experiences with bad tenants who own animals and keep them in their property. Uh, when you're assessing whether you should or shouldn't accept pets, before you have a blanket rule of no, or if you have a blanket rule of yes, I can have any pet, I would encourage you to consider the following three things. Uh, so the first one that you need to consider is the tenant themselves. So like any good process, the tenant should go through a fairly hefty screening process to make sure that they are gonna be a tenant and they're going to look after your property. Um, some other things you may need to consider though are, has the tenant rented with the pet before? Has the tenant rented before? What's their rental history like? Um, are they likely to be a responsible tenant or not? Uh, secondly, if something does go wrong, does the tenant have the means to actually pay for any repairs that their tenants, that they cause or that their animals cause? So if you answer no to those types of questions, then you really need to consider with the, whether this tenant's actually gonna be suitable for you or not. The second thing you need to consider is the pet that you're looking at versus the property that they're going into. So for example, you could get an application for a tenant and your property is a townhouse and they've got a German Shepherd. Um, German Shepherds are a big dog, putting them in such a small yard, they're definitely going to do damage to your yard and they're probably going to upset nearby neighbours as well. Um, however, if you've got an apartment and you've got a tenant who's got a cat, um, provided that obviously the tenant can look after the cat and the cat is well trained, that cat's very unlikely to cause damage to your property um, and then you've got an excellent tenant as a result. And the third thing that you need to have a look at is how it's going to affect your overall rental income. Um, we often get owners who say or have had a bad experience and they just have an absolute blanket no rule to pets. However, um, you need to look at what your target market is and who your market are. Um, if you've got a house and your market are families and professional couples, particularly here in Townsville, it's very likely that they're going to have pets. So by saying absolutely no to all the pets, um, effectively, you're cutting out your chances of renting your property to over 50% of your market. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna result in having longer days vacant, so more money out of your pocket, and you've gotta find that very niche tenant in your market that doesn't have a pet, so you're looking at receiving a lower rental income as well. Remember, pets aren't usually the problem. It is bad tenants that have them. And there are some great tenants out there that have pets. And if you get a great tenant that owns a pet, you're, they're gonna be a huge asset to you as the owner because you're still gonna get all those things that you want with them paying their rent on time and looking after the property. If you want some more information about it, please have a read of my blog below. Um, otherwise, if you want some information from us or you're interested, give us a call or send me through an email. We'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget guys, if you've got a friend or family member and they're looking for a good property manager, refer them through to Excellence Property Management. If they become a client of ours, we'll give you $200 cash back. Thanks very much guys, I'll see you next time.